Okay, so in this short video, we're going to look at how to create a basic report um, and how to create a schedule for that report, okay? So we're gonna work in the reports module. Um, and firstly, we will go ahead and select create report. If you just click the reports module, then of course you will see a list of all of the available reports that you've got that either come with sugar out of the box or ones that you've created. So we're gonna go ahead and create one. Uh, we're going to choose our report type. So we've got four reports to choose from. I'm going to go with summation with details because I want um, a chart at the top and the information broke down underneath. We then choose the module that we like to run. So I'm going to go with leads. Uh, we're going to have a look at show me all leads created um, this year by status. OK, so I'm going to have a go to show me that information. So I'm going to select leads. The first step is to do filters. So which fields are we reporting on? What, what is the criteria for those fields? So obviously my first one is status. And I'd like to see all of the leads that actually have a status. So I'm going to select show me all of the leads where the status field is not empty, okay? Um, my next filter I'm going to create is uh, the date that they were created. So if I just go ahead and find date created here, and then I've got a bunch of options I can choose here. So I'm just going to go ahead and say uh, this year. So all of the leads this year, um, I've got my year set up in here from January to December. So show me all of the leads that do have a status. Show me all of the leads that is created this year. So I'm going to go ahead and hit next. The next step is to show me group by. So how do I want them grouped? Okay, so I want them grouped by the month that they were created. Okay, so you've got day, um, but I'd like to see them in the month. Okay, so I'm going to go month, date created. Um, that's all I'm happy with. Next, choose my display summaries. So the summary, if you hover over the here, it'll give you an explanation as to what the summary is. Um, so currently I've got show me uh, the leads month they created. Um, I could then add to that summary. Okay, so if I scroll down here, what else do I want to see? Do I want to see the average lead score? Do I want to see a total number of leads within that month? Or, you know, the, the, the total lead scores, the minimum, the maximum, I'd like to see the number. So within the months, I want to see the total number of leads that match my criteria. So I'm gonna hit next again. And then it's going to ask me, great, underneath the chart, what are your display columns? So what is it you'd like to see in a row by row um, about that lead? So my first thing will be the lead name. You can also use this search bar here. So you can go ahead and do this. So I'm going to go lead name, uh, status, uh, and date created. What I'd also like to see is the user that that lead is assigned to, okay? And if we just ed edit this information out, you'll not see it here, okay? Because a user is a related record to the lead. So if I scroll at the top here, I select assigned to user, okay? And then all I'm going to do is type down here, user, oops, if I spell it correctly, I'm gonna select username. Whilst we're here, you can go ahead and add information in here just to make it a bit more personable. So I'm going to go lead name. Uh, I might want to put lead status. And then instead of username, I might want to put something like um, sales rep. Okay, so I'm just renaming what these labels actually are. And you can go ahead and sort them so you can drag and drop them around, but I'm happy with that. Then going to ask me, what chart do you want to see? Okay, so these charts that you have, I'm going to go with a vertical grouped and I hit next. And then it's going to ask me to title my report. So I'm going to go leads created this year. Okay, and then we're going to hit save and run. So what we should then let's see on the screen is our chart here. Okay, so we've got all of the leads that were created in October. Just a heads up here, this demo instance that I'm looking at was created in October. So all of the leads here are going to show that they're created in October. Um, obviously, as you move along time, then you will get additional uh, months here with the total number of leads. 
So underneath here, we can see all of the leads that were created. We have their name, the status, the date it was created, and the sales representative that it is assigned to. Okay, so my report is exactly what I was looking for. Now, let's say that you would like this report on a schedule to be emailed to you once a week or once a month or to be emailed to you and other users. Then we're going to go ahead and create a schedule. So we do this using the activities button here and we have create schedule. This is then going to ask us a title for our report schedule. So I'm just going to call this leads this year report. Okay. And it's saying this is the report that we're creating a schedule for. Yes. How often do I want it scheduled? So you could have it hourly if you wish. You know, if you got a report based on cases, how many cases are we getting an hour? Um, what are the priority of the cases? You might want that type of report hourly. I'm going to go ahead and select weekly here. When do I want this report to start? We'll start it from Monday. And I'm happy for it to arrive in my inbox at half past nine every Monday. Okay. And this report and the schedule is assigned to me. So I'm just going to save that. So now what we have is an active schedule on this report that's going to email me every Monday at half past nine. I'd also like it to email other users. So I'm just going to go up here and I'm going to hit report schedules. Okay, so to access the report schedules, you do this via the report module. So we have a look. So what we can see here is we have one schedule for all of the reports on the system. There's one that's got a schedule, which is the leads created. Underneath, you will see all the users that are in that schedule. If you want to go ahead and add users, then you hit link existing record. And now we're going to go ahead and select multiple users and add them to that schedule. All of these users in this schedule will now get this report every Monday at half past nine. That's how you create your report schedules and that's how you create a basic report. If, for example, you want to remove a, a user from a schedule, then just come back to the report schedule. You have to do it this way and then just unlink. So you just remove a user here. It's going to ask you if you're sure. You're going to say yes, confirm. Now we've only got four people that are receiving that report. And that is how you build a basic report and a report schedule.